Good afternoon, all. Welcome to another <laughs> edition of what are we calling this, Corey? We don't have a name. Austin Life Today Show. Oh gosh, oh, for sure. That, that's making it way more than it is. I feel like. Except we need to call this something. We need. It, is it like, not just? Is it? Suggest- is it not just our uh, announcement? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send in suggestions for yeah, what we call this. Maybe uh, info at AustinLifeJerks.com or my cell or Corey's yeah. cell or Carrier Pigeon. Corey, I noticed yeah. you- We didn't have any music. We didn't have any music for okay, us. Because we're saving music because today, today- Why can't we have it twice? So I'm saying, I'm announcing it. We have a special guest today. Uh-huh. Yep. This special guest reserves the right to have their very own walk-in music, so we're honoring the guest. I agree. I agree that that she should have her very own walk-in. Well, she. Music, whoa, whoa. Why don't Why don't we what, get her own who music is it too? today? Who is it? You're giving it away. You want to? I, I said she. That narrows it down to fifty percent of the population. Except in the Christian world, it's like eighty percent because men are bums. Uh, so men, let's let's stop being bums. Um, come yeah. on, don't act. Maybe that statistic's not accurate. I mean boys. 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 Really there real. are too many boys who, who, who like to claim Christians. And I'm like, do you need to look more like Jesus? And I mean, okay, that's <laughs> – maybe I'm being a little harsh. Um, oh, it's almost like having some side effects. Just I'm a, out of a, uh easy I'm tiger. I'm in. Drinking out of a yes. mug earlier. Yes. Easy tiger. It's pink. Um, it's mine and Stephanie's favorite mug, and so we fight over it. Uh, so if somebody wants to get us the black one, uh, we will gladly accept and receive that. And and you're shopping local, uh, which is full this time. Everything you buy for like a man version of something, do you buy it in black? You said you wanted a black no. one. No. Oh. No. That's I would have probably bought the pink one first, yeah. um, but we already have it. So now we need the black one. You're taking too long here. Let's bring in our special guest. Special uh, guest? Special guest. Yeah. So... She really deserves, uh, is it no introduction when they're, when you want to honor someone? Or does that sound bad when you say they yeah, don't? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Like, she doesn't need an introduction. Means like. She doesn't need an introduction. Come on. Let's bring her in. We are going to have her join Get us. Get her on the line. Live, and we are going to spin her walk-in music. Her tunes. Boom. Hit it. Hit it, DJ. <laughs> Wait for it. I bet she's coming. There she is. Hello. <laughs> and Dennis here is with us today. Hello. Dennis. Look at that. Look at that plant in your background. Way to go. Thanks. I thought it would be a good addition to the video. <laughs> yeah, we we just uh, so Stephanie and I sometimes we'll get plants like real ones, and they never live. They never like we our track record is terrible. The same. You gotta so, go with the fake plants. We just got a fake one, and and fun fact, except not so fun, they are far more expensive than I thought they would be. <laughs> like fake plants are not cheap. I don't know how much that one was. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Thank you, Amanda. Whatever thinking, you say, Corey. Am I here to talk about fake plants or? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's exactly that's how that went. So, so, um, is how are you? Tell us what is going on. Where are you calling in from, and uh, what does life look like nowadays for you? Yeah, I'm doing good. I think just adjusting to everything as everyone else is. I feel like. Um, it definitely has good advantages of like being home and not having a lot to do and being with family, but just hard things of learning to do life in a new way and just sadness surrounding everything that's happening in the world. Um, but I'm in Florida with my family. I am doing school online here. Um, my days look different every day. It normally involves sleeping in a little bit and then... (laughs) doing school at some point, going for a walk, um, eating dinner with my family, talking to friends on the phone, just kind of 
whatever that day brings. I've been yeah. lacking motivation with school, which I feel like is common for a lot of That's students hard. right now. But yeah. it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> my, my worst grades in college were online classes. I, yeah, I think that might be a possibility for my future as well. <laughs> yeah. It's just hard. I, I, I personally, I like the, not only like I need the structure and the social interaction. Otherwise I'm like, eh, whatever. So it was not good <laughs> for me. It was hard. It was hard. Yeah. Florida, does that mean you're getting any uh, beach time? Can you even go to the beach? Like I probably can't. I guess. No, you cannot. We, oh, Michael. Um, we got some beach time in the beginning and then they closed the beaches um which is understandable but we weren't sure how strict they were going to be so my sister and i uh the first day we like tried to surf which we're not good at surfing we're just trying to learn and beach mm. patrol came and with their sirens kicked us off the beach wow so, like baywatch yeah. was it like baywatch yeah it was <laughs> man pretty was much like watch i love it uh, what a rebel yeah it was pretty, pretty intense. <laughs> <laughs> so if, if you're going to the grocery store, if y'all are going to go make a, a trip, run to the grocery store right now, what is the one snack that you're like, I need this one, bring it, I need it. Or if it's um, from a gas station, it might also come from a gas station. Not all snacks, not all great snacks are found in a grocery store. But aren't you going to find a gas station snack in a grocery store? Not always. Name name a gas station snack not in the grocery store. Quesadilla from QT. No, that's like that's not a snack. That's a, that's a, a hot meal. For totally some of different us, genre. For some of us, it's just a snack. I'm we sorry. should let. Amanda I'm sorry, Amanda. Okay, yes. go ahead. Um, I don't know. I've been actually baking lately, and so I feel like. I wouldn't get one snack. I would get the ingredients to bake something. So right now, what, flour what are you gonna has bake? been um, cookies, loaves of bread, you know, just random things. Wait, so what, I, I have a list in my head of things to make, but flour has been gone everywhere. Yeah. So I would get some flour uh, yeah. because yeah. that is in high demand. Yep. Surely there's You're a right. top cookie on the list, like a classic favorite doesn't have to be the top like the number one but there's got to be like chocolate chip yeah chocolate chip for sure. okay chocolate chip okay that works yeah works. chocolate chip okay, okay. so so we have uh we have official official alc approved interview questions so i have a very serious one for you uh for okay that. i need to really think about this if you could buy anything off of Amazon today, what would that be? Um, Shout out to Amazon. We're, we're getting proceed. Um, don't, don't you get like his name is no, endorsements? Yeah. Jeff? No, not endorsements. Um, not endorsements. Another word, but it just literally left my brain. I'm sure they'll send you whatever you're about to say for free because of all the advertisement they're getting Royalties. right now. Roy Royalties. That's all it. Right. I expect this to be at my door tomorrow then. Cool. Um, I would get a puzzle. Um, my sister and I have been doing some puzzles lately and there's this one of Santorini that's a thousand pieces and I've been looking at it, but it's expected, like if I ordered it now, it would get here potentially in June. So yeah, I'm not gonna order it. <laughs> wow, man, a puzzle. Hold that thought. Hold that. Y'all can chit chat. Hold on. Do you, is, do you have a puzzle? Is that what you're getting? Is that a decorative pillows there on the bed? That's very nice. Yes. Well, I meant well, I meant yours, but also a, I think. Oh, a Corey. Yours, yours, yours are they're they're looking better. They're looking nice. Thanks. The Florida. Okay, so you couldn't get a puzzle till June, so that's probably not going to happen. So probably not. Uh, we'll have to. Send a link out to that puzzle can, show notes to everyone. Can y'all still hear me? Uh, yeah. We don't know where you are, though. Ah. Oh, you didn't. Man, where is it? We just, so we just finished a 2,000-piece puzzle. I feel like you're bragging. Of, 
of Disney Pixar. It's the it's the biggest puzzle we've ever done. We we like to do puzzles too. So what but I don't know where it is. Oh, I don't get... know. Okay, gotcha. it got boxed up, but I thought I knew where the box was, but apparently I don't. So, so uh, like puzzles, puzzles. That's good. Um, what? So turning the corner here to a more lighthearted question: What is something lately? that God has been teaching you about just through all this here you are in Florida you can't get a puzzle till June you know there's a fake plant behind you we don't know how much it is there is decorative clothes <laughs> on your bed but we talked about that Corey when you were gone getting your 2000 piece yeah do you not have decorative pillows Mike uh, I don't think we do I think I we, need to go. we've got some yes, they're very nice so yeah, Amanda, what has God been teaching you through this lately? Um, I think like this week in particular has been um, really cool because he's been just like teaching me or reminding me of just Holy Week and all the things that happened on this earth 2,000 years ago this week. Um, and it's been like a a cool week just to see the importance of the gospel um, with everything that's going on. And like, he's just been teaching me a lot about his consistency. Like he's the same God that he was 2000 years ago when he sent his son for us. And um, like that same hope is here today. And um, it's been cool to see just how this week he's been, um, really putting that on my heart and teaching me a lot just like his character isn't changing through this and like he wasn't surprised by any of this that's happening and um, yeah he's just there through it all so this isn't his first pandemic either like this is the first one yeah. for all of us and um, like I think no one's alive from other ones maybe I don't know um, but he has just been through it all so yeah it's been a good thing to learn this week. Yeah, yeah. that's really good. Yeah, that's I'm, good. The fact he's steadfast and never changing, and it seems like right now every two minutes something is changing. Yeah. Or there's another notification, or I mean, there's so much noise happening right now. That's really good. That's encouraging. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, thanks for having yeah. me on. Yeah, that's good. Amanda, thanks for uh, taking time out of the day. And uh, just to j just to deal with our random, sporadic, makes no sense uh, questioning, but also just to share a little, I mean, also from your heart, what God's been uh, teaching you. And that's been really encouraging to me uh, this week, um, particularly as well, is just remembering. I, I think I forget sometimes, or I think like God is especially if you've been in a church for a long time, right? Like God can just become another one of the things in your life. That's more so just an idea and not a reality, um, not near and living and active. And um, I've been wrestling with that. Just like, okay, if God is really alive and here and present and active, that changes things. Like that changes how I view things and my hope and my confidence. And, um, so then comparing that to actually how I've been living tells me like there's probably a disconnect there in my, my true faith in that. So you know, I've been encouraged by that as well. So thanks for sharing that. We yeah. should clap out Amanda with her, uh, her music here on the way out. Yeah. We'll, we'll send, yeah. <laughs> oh, we're wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. This wrong is, one. Whoa, is. we're getting a look into Mike's inner playlist. There it is. <laughs> Amanda and Dennis, everybody. This is a great song. Bye, Amanda. Have a good day. Tell your family bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> this is good. I like it. I know you don't like this song. Whoa, 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 whoa. You said that you were like, I only like songs from 2015 or newer, unless it's Nickelback. You love Nickelback. <laughs> you <laughs> love some Nickelback. Admit, there's, so, there's, okay, I'm going to, there's going to be enemies with this. In the 80s, oh, yeah. In the 80s, I, I can't stand it. <laughs> I love Amanda and the song, you know, it's got a little energy to it, but Man. 80s music. Amanda, don't, don't take it personally. I like the song, but.
So if it's not Creed or Nickelback, Mike is out. Yeah, clearly. So, so we're gonna start with some Creed probably next week. So yeah. So if you're still if you're still tuned in here, um, Austin Life Church, a couple things we wanted to really just kind of pass on to you. Make sure you're in the loop of. Um, obviously, we're still not meeting together in, in person, um, but community and connection is always important. Um, and so if be, continue to be participating and, and active in your community group, um, all, all of those are still happening virtually. If you're not in one, I, I know there's probably that thought of like, oh, it's kind of weird to join one now. It's not. It's really not. Um, and so especially because everyone's kind of figuring out this new world of virtual community groups, at least for us. And so, um, yeah, join a group. Um, you, can do, you can see those online for us. Uh, you can email the leaders. You can text Mike or I or email us, and we'd love to get you connected. Um, it's just, it's God said in Genesis uh, 2, it's not good for the man to be alone. Um, and the heart behind that is community. We're created for it. We need it. Uh, and so, can't emphasize enough community groups, discipleship groups, staying connected with people. Um, I read in a book, uh, I, I have, I mean, Lisa Turkhurst quoted it. I don't know who, who originated with this quote, but um, the devil has influence and isolation. Uh, if he is isolated, uh, he'll have influence um, and he'll work uh, slowly in our thoughts and then it'll start to believe those thoughts and then we'll start to act on those thoughts. And so, uh, it's really important to have some people in your life that you're just kind of being us and vulnerable with, and they get to see the ugly parts and say, Hey, mm -mm, no, no, we, we're having that. Um, so can't encourage it enough. Um, yeah, uh, that's, that's really important. Um, Mike, most of you got for us. And just, you know, as we, as we kind of wrap up just a couple of reminders, Prayer right now is one of the most effective. We really don't yeah. have to be in the middle of a pandemic for me to say it's one of the most effective things we can do. Um, but right now, it, it just it is and growing our love for God yeah. and reading His Word and praying. So we started this last Thursday. We're going to continue this every Thursday at eleven thirty. We wanted to pick a time during the day just to be cognizant of other people's schedules. So from eleven thirty. Um, for about an hour maybe or so every Thursday we're going to pray and there's yeah. no we've talked about this before there's no big agenda to that we just want to come together and pray there could be different requests yeah um, so join us at 11 30 all the details are online for yeah. that um, and, and not only that even if even if it's like noon and you can't get you know you're like oh I don't get to my lunch break or whatever I mean anywhere in that hour just hop in um, and, and join us in prayer. You can pray out loud. You can just listen. Um, so really, as long as that's happening, hop in. Yeah, yeah that's a great point. Yeah, anytime. So uh, it will be there uh, every, every Thursday at 1130. Uh, there's ongoing updates with everything going on with COVID-19. Just check out our page for that. We'll continue updating that on ways to serve. Uh, if there's different ways to pray specifically, uh, giving, everything like that. Um, including yep. some stuff we've been working on uh, that we're really excited to announce. Uh, yeah. Today. So we're going to hold off until our Easter Sunday service, but at the end of the service on Sunday, uh, we'll kind of announce yep. an initiative we've been working on for uh, really for what we just feel like the Lord's called us to do um, as a church next. Yeah. That'll be coming up on Sunday. So I think besides that, I think that's it. Good. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah. As Mike was saying, this Sunday is Easter. It's going to be a unique Easter for everybody. Um, we will still worship together virtually. And, and I also think that you've got friends and family who would tune in uh, that maybe wouldn't other times. And so um, ask them and them to, to worship with you, to join you for, for worship uh, this Sunday. Um, yeah. I, mean, I think that's, I think that's all we got right now. We're going to be featuring this band on Sunday, too. So just so you can, um, this is one of Corey's favorite songs right here. We'll just go out on this. Hold you on. Don't know it yet? Hold on. You know it now? You got it? Oh, dear. This is going on too long. Man, this reminds me. This is, this is the times when you're just, like, driving down the road, and you're like, 
I need to roll down the windows because I'm feeling real cool right now. Roll down the windows, y'all, today. Have a great afternoon. (laughs) Bye, y'all. Love you guys. Next time. Uh